presentation of ABC Sports. The heartbeat of LSU basketball is a big guy named O'Neal, all 7-1 of him. Arizona's basketball ticks right along with Chris Mills and Brian Williams. So it's a day for the big men as Arizona comes calling on LSU on ABC Sports College Basketball. Assembly Center on the campus of Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge, better known locally as the Death Dome, one of those December games that'll have some echoes. Number two, Arizona against number 18, LSU. Hello again, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson. Dale Brown, the head coach of the LSU basketball team, loves nothing better than David and Goliath. It's his favorite scenario. He's been here 19 years. He's been very successful. So if he likes it, he's got it today. Dick Vitale, he better have all kinds of tools in hand for his slingshot today. Keith, he's going to need all the help of the world. He's a masterful motivator, probably the best motivator in college basketball. But when we talk about Arizona, we talk about a dynamite duo inside. I really believe when we talk about Arizona, Keith, from 1 to 12, they are the best team in the United States. UNLV has the best starting team in America. And you look at Arizona, they got the power dynamite duo. Sean Rooks can score in the boxes, and Brian Williams is unbelievable. Shaquille O'Neal is the best pure physical talent in America. Will he get in foul trouble? That'll be the big question. Can't beat Arizona with a one-horse wagon. You gotta have some help for it. So we'll see what happens as Number two, Arizona hits the road against number 18, LSU. way to fix your car. Get a Civic four-door from Honda. The facts speak for themselves. copier is Canon. Call toll-free 1-800-OK-CANON. Come on along, I'll take you to the lullaby of Broadway. The Hickory and Valley Who. The lullaby of Broadway. And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. Stay at the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail, dinner, and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby of Broadway. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Just one dose of Pepto-Bismol helps relieve an upset stomach. The one that coats is the only one you need. Hi. You know, Ace is a place for all kinds of holiday stuff. stuff? From the tree and all the trimmings well, we to have the right stuff to put under it. Oh, you mean Jason? Hey, let me tell you. When it's time for ho, 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 Ace is the place for me. <laughs> ho, ho, ho? Yeah, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you know. ABC's College Basketball. Brought to you by Radio Shack. America's technology store. Nobody compares. By Honda, maker of fine, quality automobiles. Test drive a Honda at your local dealer today. And by Tylenol Cold. Nobody cares for your cold like Tylenol Cold. And now, before 
the tip off. Here's Carol Miller. Well, Keith, this will be the first time that these coaches have met as coaches since 1952 when they played against each other in a state tournament in North Dakota. Coach Olson played for the Grand Forks team, and Coach Brown played for St. Leo's High School. Well, that night, Coach Olson came away with the W, but you better believe, Keith, that today, Coach Brown is going to try to even up the series one-to-one. -one. Those of you who missed the uh, earlier game, Duke defeated Michigan 75-68. No surprise at all, Keith. It's mediocre time right now for Michigan. They'll be, get back in the swing of it next year. They got some great recruits coming in. There's Dale Brown, the head man of the LSU Tigers. He's been here, uh, this is his 19th season. He is now the second winningest uh, coach in the Southeastern Conference, the all-time winner at LSU. Lute Olson, given uh, the time, uh, I think at Arizona will probably go down in their book as the all-time winner. Luke Maney is running rampant over in Tucson. He's got a phenomenal program, great deal of excitement. Hey, you talk about emotion. Mr. Emotion has to be Dale Brown. He came to us before the game, and he said, I have that feeling. Well, we were here with uh, UNLV, and uh, LSU upset him, 107-105, but it's a little different cast this time. We had a guy by the name of Jackson also, Chris Jackson. The Tigers in the yellow, the home uniform. Griggs is a very quick youngster. Few takes it inside, O'Neal is doubled. Muscles it to the basket, misses the shot, and Brian Williams rebounds it for the dark-shirted Arizona Wildcats, and they run it for Chris Mills, missing. The LSU Tigers are going to run up and down the court. They believe this year in a transition game. Singleton, number 24 for LSU. Very key man for them. He's got to have a good ball game, but he's playing on two very four legs. Great. Not really a good shooter, an outstanding athlete with superb quickness. He's a red shirt. Brian Williams is chucking Shaquille O'Neal. They're going to go right at Shaquille O'Neal. Zone defense. Good move by Dale Brown. Playing the zone, trying to protect Shaquille. And a 2 3 matchup. Out in front, handling the ball. Muehlbach and Othic. Othic is 12. Muehlbach is 24. Not spectacular, but a solid pair of guards. They're going to try to get the ball inside the Rooks and let him take it right at Shaquille. Hugh comes in on a trap. They save it. Give it to Rooks. Rooks goes in. Ball slapped off the board. Got away with it. Griggs to the corner. And the first guy down the floor was Shaquille O'Neal. Griggs again. Won't go. There's O'Neal. Whistle for the foul over the back. See, that's the silly foul and he does, Keith. Last year, he fouled out of nine games. And what was significant about the nine foul out foul outs they had a six foul rule there it goes right now look at the block look at the excellent timing he had a great timing on that play and notice how rooks took it right to him go right at him a lot of places that would have been a goal pending he has a history of getting into foul trouble i don't believe the officials are really acclimated to dealing with so many big people they get preoccupied inside they lose chris mills he gets an easy two well a breakdown defensively they throw the diagonal pass right over the top of the defense mills wide open singleton singleton's a solid player he might be their most versatile player williams is held by singleton uh, they call it however out of bounds arizona hey keith brian williams can play with the best of them He's quick to the basketball. He's had an unbelievable career. He's been all over America. He's the Marco Polo of college basketball, a traveling man. See, they're going to go right at Shaquille. He didn't even try to guard no, Didn't make a move on Rooks that time, and Sean took an easy one. Well, see, you can't play defense like that, not against an offensive player like Rooks. He's one of the best big offensive players in the country. Singleton, second shot, won't go down. Rebound, Rooks. Out to Othic. It's 5-4. LSU leads by one. Everybody feels you can pressure the Arizona guards. I don't buy that. I think Muehlbach and Austin are solid. Got blocked. Muehlbach goes for it. Off him. Out of bounds. T.J. Pugh, number 20 in yellow, is going to cause a lot of trouble because he's very quick and very tenacious. There's Mr. Brown, the emotional one. Here's the drive down the lane. No, 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 baby. That's Rejection City. Notice how he used the left hand. Great timing by shot. John Drake. 
Rays out in front. T.J. Pugh came over from, he's born and raised here in Baton Rouge, but went to junior college and came back to play for Dale Brown. Griggs puts it up, won't go. See, they're not even looking inside. Now, the art of entering the ball to a postman is a special skill, and right now LSU has to find a guy that can get him the basketball. Singleton right now is on uh, Williams. Williams got away from him and slams it home. If they play man-to-man, -man, they'll get carved. Too many mismatches. Size advantage plus the quickness. They rotated to the man-to-man. -man. Mismatch through the ball over the top to Brian Williams. Arizona responds with a 2-3 zone. They play that matchup, and they play it well. What I mean by a matchup, you play a man in a specific area of the floor. Hanson doesn't draw iron. Ball, however, rebounded by Singleton. Forces the shot. And somehow it goes in. They're going to wave it off. He got frustrated right there. Shaquille O'Neal was frustrated. And then he went to the offensive glass. See, watch from the slam cam. We're going to take a look from up on top. There's the little jump hook in the lane. Now here comes Shaq. Right over the top. You notice, Keith, they have not made one direct entry into the post. If we were to chart post entries, they haven't made one yet to nope. Shaquille. Awful lot of uh, defensive contact inside by LSU. Ball knocked out of bounds by Singleton. I like Singleton. I'll tell you what. Very active player. As a freshman, he played the center position with Chris Jackson. And they were definitely in the David role that year. They weren't Goliath like last year. Singleton right now against Williams. O'Neal's over there with Rooks. He's going to get a substitution for LSU. Boudreau comes into the ball game. And O'Neal's going to go sit down for a moment. the front iron rebound Singleton playing with two groin pulls very sore with good passing inside for Hanson won't go down on the rebound it's Boudreaux Boudreaux Brooks playing kind of flat footed inside but gets the rebound Boudreaux is a gifted athlete good pressure on a basketball they're really small now without Shaquille with two fouls off it can't get it to drop Boudreaux's got to become a real heavy horse on a glass now for LSU. Fumbles that one out of bounds. They really don't have a rhythm offensively. See, Shaquille's got two fouls already, and that is a nightmare as he comes back on the floor. And there's a look at Mr. Olsen. And you got a timeout. 15.33 to go on the first half. Arizona to the lead, 6-5. This isn't what you think. It's a new kind of cold relief. Introducing fast-acting, better-tasting Tylenol cold effervescent. Strong non-aspirin cold relief from Tylenol. The only effervescent cold medicine that speeds two cold medicines to your sneezing and congestion while it sends Tylenol pain reliever to your aching body. New orange flavor Tylenol cold effervescent, part of Tylenol's complete cold relief line. Nobody cares for your cold like Tylenol cold. Kids love these exciting, fast-paced electronic games from Radio Shack. Two-player baseball is a hit. Choose the pitch and the play. Batter up. Dinosaurs let you do battle back in time. Awesome. For a real blast, there's plane and tank battle kung fu and raceway. Radio Shack electronic games are so action-packed, I bet they'll even keep this big kid entertained. 20 exciting electronic games from $7.95. Only at Radio Shack, America's technology store. Nobody compares for Christmas shopping. Okay, folks, how much could be saved if America cuts its oil and natural gas usage by just 8% a year? Almost one month's supply, and hundreds of dollars for you. Let's put our energy into saving it. Freedom, freedom. Ladies, Stetson. A declaration of independence. Wear it. Some news from the University of Miami. Athletic Director Sam Jankovic has been offered the job as the general manager of the New England Patriots. He would replace Pat Sullivan, the Patriots 1-11. Let's go back to Keith and Dick. Well, you're, a, you, football, you're a football man. Will he take it? No, I don't think so. Do you think Sam will stay on a collegiate level? Well, He's uh, always I, had no, that taste. I'd be surprised if he goes to New England. They really need some help up there. I think they need more than Sam Jankovic's. They better get some football players. You work yourself to death getting that place back, that house back in order. Sam can't run with the football and he can't throw it. I guarantee you that. He's uh, one of the better ADs in America right now. But I've known him 25 years or longer. They 
trade turnovers here. And Othick brings it up in a hurry. Muehlbach puts it up, won't go down. See, right now, if I'm Arizona, I go right at O'Neal. He's got two fouls. I drive the basketball right at him, try to get the driving angle. See, go right to Rooks. They get, keep it inside. Rooks pumps it up good. He'll have a field day, Keith, because there's Matador defense right now. Shaquille afraid to get the third foul. Does it even put a hand on Three-point lead for the Arizona Wildcats as Pugh brings it up. Griggs and now to the corner. You've got Hanson. Hanson working the little man along the baseline from corner to corner. Good shooter. They're looking to try to throw the ball over the top. See, they got to find a way to get the ball inside to Shaquille. There's uh, one. Triple over team the top. Him. A triple team him. I don't think, I'll tell you one thing, there's the consistency of officiating. Down at this end, it's rougher as the Dickens, and down here, it's not. So I, they're, they're playing a little differently on each end of the court. Keith, look at this right here, a triple team. See, no yellow shirts moving without the basketball. Three people inside with O'Neal. Somebody's got to cut to the goal for the wide open shot. Hey, we're getting word now that he only has one foul. Has one foul, yeah. They've changed it. He has one foul. I thought they definitely had that other one as a second when he climbed over the back. That's good news for Dale Brown. Sean Rooks got the last foul for Arizona. It was a body contact foul. This young man is unbelievable. After the game, he's going to work with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar today as he misses both free throws and work on developing a hook shot. Mills drives the baseline. Reverse won't go down. Back up it goes by Chris Mills, and you get a foul called on Greg. Well, the Kentucky transfer has a new dimension to this basketball team. He gives them an outside, inside player. He's a good perimeter player. He can shoot the three. He was the most valuable player, and he carried the gold trophy back home to Tucson after the NIT preseason championship with that big win over an outstanding Arkansas team. changes coming in for Arizona. Womack comes in to replace Williams. Rooks will go sit down as well, and Stokes will replace him. But you don't lose a lot. There's the chronological order of what happened with Mr. Mills in the transfer. Everybody's documented it. You see it right there. Mr. Mills is now wearing that uniform down in Arizona, and they're certainly happy to have him. Here comes full court pressure. Womack, very, very quick. Stokes, a seven-footer. He's also very quick. Now they drop back into their zone. Back in there, not in front. Back in that matchup defense. Guard a man in the area of the floor. Hanson could shoot the ball. He's one guy in their option on a perimeter. You want to shoot it. Swing it to Hanson. Ah, to bring it to the inside O'Neal. That's a man. Great agility, mobility. Kareem smiles. After the game, he takes that clinic from Kareem. He worked with Bill Walton for four Bill days. Bill is wide open. Gives it away to Stokes. Who got it? Stokes has been really coming on. Lou Olson told me this morning he has really improved since the NIT. Getting a lot of playing time now. By the lob, too high off the backboard. Wildcats will run it. Here goes Muehlbach. Ball tipped over his head out of bounds by T.J. Pugh. You know, it's really frustrating in college basketball, Keith, that players don't work on a skill of passing the basketball and the free throw line. It's amazing. Some do, and they usually win championships. Stokes on a turnaround. Short off the iron. Nice when you can get a Stokes off the bench at seven feet. He's very like quick. That, huh? Wow, and Wayne Womack. They got a great second team. Stokes with a little jumper, and it's Arizona 13 to 7. See, he's not even making an effort to play defense in here, and that's a no-no. With his size and his intimidation ability, he's got to get a hand up, Shaquille. Chris Mill clears it. Othick moves it. Lou Dolson doesn't like that. If there's one complaint with Matt Othick's game, Lou feels he tries to get a little bit too spectacular. 11-2 run in the last five minutes by Arizona. Singleton with Pugh to bring it up. Hanson's only taken one shot. He's supposed
supposed to be their outside gunner. Yeah, they're not even bringing the ball over to his side. Good scouting report by Arizona. They're shading Hanson. They got to find a way to get some shots for him on a screen. He's an excellent shooter. There they set him up. He's picked up. He has dual citizenship from out of Spain. His parents still live in Spain. Hanson. Hugh has some room. Can't get it. That's Hubach inside to rebound it. Hubach's just a guard. You can talk about point guards. Oh. In defining a guard, whether a guy's a point guard or a second guard, Hubach can play either guard slot. He's a combo guard. See, they're always looking for the 45-degree angle, which is the excellent pass inside. There's the head fake, and there's the ball knocked to the back. He said, wow. Sims is coming in for the first time today. Boudreaux goes back and sits down. O'Neal gets a brief respite and comes right back in. Singleton leaves for LSU. Well, they bring in some size now. This guy started for most of his first three years, but because of their style of play, he's being victimized. They want to run up and down the court, and he doesn't have that kind of quickness, Wade Sims. I think they need him today. They need his beef inside. Well, it's got the way. Hanson picks it up. Pass to Pew. Got it. Nice move by Hanson to get the ball to T.J. Pugh. Transfer from out of Garden City West out of Kansas. The school that produced Keith Smart. He played for Bobby Knight and hit that unbelievable shot to beat Syracuse in 1980. Caleb Reeves, number three in the lineup. Arizona, two freshman out of New York City. Oh, Lock. get it out of here, baby. Picked up by Grigg. Flip it up to Shaquille. Flip it up to him. Hanson in among the trees is fouled. Keith, all they had to do was flip the lob up to Shaquille, and the Death Dome would have rocked. The dunkometer would have exploded. Darren Johnson, number 23, is in the lineup now for Arizona. Timeout, 11.27 to go, first half, 13 to 9, the Wildcats lead. Does Dristan nasal spray start working to clear up congestion? Hey, I, I didn't expect it to start to work this fast. Dristan nasal spray starts to work in seconds. If the communications data isn't programmed right, 5,000 troops could be cut off. But I'd never let that happen to my brigade. match the challenge of the Bud Light Iron Man Triathlon. Across the world's top male gymnast compete all tomorrow on a special edition of ABC's Wide World of Sports. Welcome back. Our score here. Arizona leading 13 to 9 over LSU. And with me is a man who needs no introduction, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Kareem, you've had a chance to talk to Shaquille O'Neal. What's some of the advice you've been giving him? Well, I didn't give him much advice. Uh, it's mainly just social talk. Uh, we got together last night after the game. They played Chapman College. Where have you seen, I mean, he is only 18 years old. Are you surprised at how good he is at this age? Well, um, I think he's got great potential. He's a, he's a good athlete, and he has good instincts for the game. I think uh, he'll do a lot of progress. Well, thank you very much, Kareem. Let's go to you, Keith. O'Neill just threw one down, and he got a foul whistle. I mean, I think it was Mills. He did an excellent drop step inside, caught the ball down in deep. They make that good entry down in the post. 
I really believe those are the five best right now, big people in that order, in terms of playing down in a post. We look at Shaquille, Alonzo I love, Christian Leitner, inside, outside, Brian Williams, and Matumbo. Missed the free throw. Mills brings it up, 13 to 11, Arizona by two. Williams fumbles it. Hanson picks it up and saves it. I like Sims on that floor. I believe he gives him a strong body on that baseline. He can shoot the ball as well. Rebound comes outside to Reeves. Reeves can move it for you. Misses. Rebound. Williams. Reeves might be the best pure backcourt talent they have at Arizona out of New York City. Boudreaux to O'Neal. He brought the ball down. He made himself 5'10 instead of 7'1. He, instead of catching the ball and going right to the basket. See, this is a no-no. You're 7'1. See how he brings the ball down? Little Lothic can play him. He made himself 5'10. I could even guard him there. He brings it down. He's got to take that thing right up to the basket. What a future. Are we looking at a future here that's unreal? I don't know. 18 years old. Deep, no doubt about it. I mean, last night they played Chapman College. We have to indicate Chapman's coached by Bob Boyd, a good friend of yours from out of University of Southern Cal, where he had all that fame. In fact, he had a great team one year, 24-2, and two, lost two games to Kareem, and they couldn't get in a tournament. Sims on the floor, they got a big guy at least to put a body on Brian Williams. Rooks back in, inside, has the ball. Look at him handle it. Look at him handle it. Look at him handle it. Are you serious? Are you serious? He makes himself look like Magic Johnson. 14-13, Tigers go back to the lead. You watch the seven-foot one in transition, handling the board. You're laughing your head off here. Rooks, and a foul. Oh, I can't believe it, Keith. Seven foot one, 285 pounds. Here he comes up with the loose ball. There he is, Shaquille. Look at the new magic. And now look at him handling a rock, baby. And there's a little dump down. See, he drew the defense. Great instincts with the ball. He has to develop a hook shot. I don't fall down in all this adulation. I resist it because I still say he's 18 years old. He's got to have some time to grow. Oh, I know, but you still got to appreciate his talents. His talents are just unreal at that age. Hey, Brooks on that line, he can score. Back to the lead, the Wildcats. 15 to 14 at 10 minutes and three seconds to go in the first half. Sims, the big man, 44, is in there. He's your blocking back. Yeah, I like him on the floor. Takes up a lot of room. That's Hanson out of the corner. Won't go. Rebound, Rooks. Lothic tries to throw it up, and they eat him up, and here comes O'Neal again. This time he takes it in and misses the basket. shot. Score the basket. I'll count it. He, he is agile. He is mobile. And that big fella is not fragile. Can you imagine this guy handling a ball in the open court? Look at this. Well, I'll tell you, Optic showed good sense. He got out of the way, didn't he? Yeah, he did, but Rooks <laughs> could have taken the charge. Yes, he could have. Rooks could have taken the charge. See, they forgot to go inside of Rooks. They got to drive the ball right at Rooks. Yulbach can't get it. O'Neal rebounds it again. Lob ahead to Hanson. Get it to him on a baseline, They're doubling him up inside. LSU leads 18 to 15. Oh, gonna, Sims basket. You're going to get all kinds of wide open shots if you're a forward for LSU because of the presence of O'Neal. Inside it goes to Rook. Ball knocked away by the Tigers. And Pew to the corner for Hanson. He can shoot it. Hasn't hit one yet. But he is a shooter, Keith. He's the kind of guy I'd want to keep shooting the basketball. Inside Williams against Sim. On go. Oh, that's not a good play. Mills 
gets a free one. Not a good play for you kids watching. You never throw the ball in bounds from your baseline under the other team's basket. Bad, bad play right there. One point lead for the Tigers. See, it also takes the crowd out of the game. It breaks down that little momentum. Hanson back to Sims. I like Sims. Did a little bit earlier. I felt he good presence. Good move by Dale Brown. Getting in the experienced big body in Wayne Sims. Well, almost stolen by a very quick Hanson. Dale Brown is so motivated. Hills for three, no. Rebound, Rooks. Oh! O'Neal gets it out of there. They brought Bill Walton here for four days earlier this year to work with O'Neal how to play in the post. Got about Sims. They got a guard since he can shoot the ball. This place is rocking and rolling, see, the death goal. Brooks. Notice how Shakir just backs away from him, lets him get the ball in that deep. He can score all day with the way he's playing defense on that box. <laughs> see, Shakir wants the 45-degree angle. And oh, throw, got it. Three points. I'll tell you one thing, they're forwards. I'd love to play with O'Neal. You're wide open. They're going to let you shoot the perimeter shot. Boudreau knocks it down. He was a parade All-American in high school, Boudreau. That's a foul State of on Boudreau. Mr. Basketball in Louisiana, a gifted athlete who hasn't just found himself yet. He's a red shirt. Williams out, Rooks out, Stokes and uh, Womack come in. We've got a timeout at 6.45 to go first half. Presenting the Honda Prelude SI with anti-lock brakes. Never get behind a camera without one. Come on along, I'll take you to the lullaby of Broadway. The Hickory and Ballyhoo. The lullaby of Broadway. And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. Stay at the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail, dinner, and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby of Broadway. You know, Dad always said, Norman, you have to give 100% every day. If you want 100% whole grain, only one of these leading cereals has it. Only Wheaties is made with 100% whole grain. Dad also said, Norman, if you want to be a champion, better get your whole grain. Better eat your Wheaties. But you better never call me Norman. The Raiders are driving for a division crown, but to stay in gear, they'll have to stop Detroit's wheels. This week on ABC's Monday Night Football. Tomorrow, special edition of ABC's Wide World of Sports from Hawaii. The most grueling event of its kind, the Bud Light Ironman Triathlon World Championship. Plus the world's top male gymnasts competing for the all-around gold at the World Cup Gymnastics Championships, four Eastern, three Central and Pacific. ABC's Wide World of Sports. You know, Arizona, 7-0. and As you look at Shadil on that sideline, he was really looking at his eye a little bit earlier. Stamina. I really wonder about stamina. You know, yesterday they played well, Chapman. Well, that's part of it. See, that's what I keep talking about. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not an old mountain climber yet. <laughs> he's got time. Time is sure, on his side. Yeah, absolutely. Time he's 20, it'll be terrifying. You know, yesterday they played Chapman Pollock. 17 hours earlier. I think we'll go. Hugh Long lead Hansen. Got it. That was a great pass. Great catch by Hanson to protect the basketball. He had 42 as a freshman at the University of Tennessee Martin against LSU. Biggest lead in the game here. And then decided to transfer. There you had four, 
What did you say? 40 points? 42. Yeah, 42. Inside, Womack gets a bounce. Yes. Womack was a starter last year, earlier in the year. Really has improved his ability to play on a perimeter as well as inside. Lou Olson, a big fan of Wayne Womack. I think one of the big differences uh, was, was oh, Sims came into the ball game. Oh, Sims out there with O'Neal takes up a lot of real estate. Yeah, he gave him a great lift because he could shoot the ball as well. 15 feet. Rebound, Stokes for Arizona. Wildcats in the dark blue. Mills, quick pass inside. Oh. Womack, he's fouled by Boudreaux. They don't lose anything when they bring Womack in. And he executes so well. Ludos oh. really has the high percentage offensive system. He has great discipline on the floor. What an amazing job. He took over the program. They were 1-17 in the league. He's won four Pac-10 championships, three conference championships, an amazing run, 1988, the final four. Finally won by Danny and the Miracles, Larry Brown in Kansas. So far, the Arizona guards have not produced any points. Yeah, they really look inside a lot. They got to shoot the little wide open jump shot because they're both capable of shooting it. Optic and also Muehlbach. Five point lead now for LSU at five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Dale Brown trying to buy some time with Shaquille on that sideline. Should use that clock a little bit. Look at Sims with that big wide body. Can he lay a screen? Oh, almost had an illegal screen. He can't move. Boudreaux over Mills, rebound taken out by Muehlbach. They'll bring it down to the floor. That's what will happen to you. Pew picks his pocket. Yeah, so many big people make themselves too small down in the post. Oh, great head fake. Sims missed it and knocked it out of bounds. He's a smooth player, Sims. Started as a freshman in the sophomore. Lost his starting job last year. Sean Griggs comes back into the ball game for LSU, and Boudreaux goes out. Shaquille getting those ribs wrapped up. A lot of contact on that floor today. A lot, a lot of big people out there. A little different than yesterday at Chapman College. And they're letting them play. That's what? Stokes with a turnaround. He's got a nice little touch inside. He started the last 16 games last year. Can you imagine bringing off the bench a guy like Stokes and Womack? was nine it's now three 25 28 25. sims fall away got 15 foot range excellent touch he reminds, me of, he reminds me of another wing years and years ago wing yeah, he does a little bit yeah absolutely right now the general manager of cleveland cavaliers look at wait wait i'm giving you some pr he looks like he can play tight end down here for this football program. It's Sims, that big, wide body. Curly Hallman may be after him, too. Nice little fadeaway jumper. Curly did such a great job at Southern Mississippi. Anytime he could beat Auburn and Alabama on the road, that led him to the ticket here in LSU. Joe Dean signed him. Here's another seven-footer coming into the ball game. Geert Hamick. He's a Dutchman. Dale Brown's the world traveler. P.J. Carlissimo of Seton Hall really right now is a guy that goes all over the world for players. I Chris have, Mills makes it. I don't know your feelings as we look at Dale, Keith. I have no problem with the foreign player as long as they start as freshmen and complete their four years. It's the hired gun, the guy that comes in for one year and then disappears. I don't buy that at all. Yeah, but how do you police it? 30 to 27, three-point lead to LSU. Here is Cheryl. Thanks a lot, Keith and Dick. I'll tell you what happened. Shaquille O'Neal, on the last time out, came over. He's almost doubled over. He was complaining about some cramps in his stomach. They wrapped him up, and they diagnosed it as having a pulled stomach muscle. But, uh, you know, they said he's going to be able to get back in the game very soon. Inside, they go to Hammock. On the baseline, Griggs has no room and steps on the line. See, that's where you need awareness to your offensive set. There was no, no way you could make that pass there. The baseline was an extra defensive player. Timeout, 352, and uh, they're wondering about the injury to the big man of LSU. Basketball practice at 4 o'clock. I better get coming. I'm bringing you boss home for dinner. I'd better make something special. Is it possible? We've had that refrigerator since 84. Hey, listen to this. Car expenses took 10% of the budget last month. Yeah, Mom, I finished with my homework. Yay! You're good at 
this game. Finally, a computer so easy to use it guarantees success. The Tandy 1000 RL with 24 built-in home organizing solutions. Now on sale. Only at Radio Shack, America's technology store. Nobody compares for Christmas shopping. So I'm standing in the checkout line, and this really attractive woman sees I have Kellogg's Grand Flakes. And she says, Buying that for your father? Come on. They taste terrific. That's why I eat Kellogg's Bran Flakes. It's a, a nutty, toasted wheat taste. And they're Kellogg's. So I turned to this woman. I looked her straight in the eye and I said, Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're for Dad. <laughs> K-E-L-L-O-Double -double Good. Kellogg's Bran Flakes. Toasted taste to you. Come along. The Civic Hatchback from Honda. Defending national champ UNLV battles the Michigan State Spartans or Kenny Anderson and Georgia Tech take on the Temple Owl. It's ABC's College Basketball next Saturday. Welcome back to our studios in New York. Coming up at a halftime, Beth Bruyak will have a look at this man, Shaquille O'Neal. Dick Vitale can't say enough about him. Let's get back to Dick. No go, Dick. He's back on the floor right now, Mr. O'Neal. Came out of San Antonio, Texas. There's the full court trap. They've been using that this year. A oh, good diagonal pass. They got a two-on-one right now. See, he's not putting a hand up defensively. He had the angle for the block shot right there. He's got to protect that basket. Reeves fields it. Moskovitz lets him go in for the basket. I like Reeves. I think Reeves is going to be an outstanding college guard. He was the MVP last year in the McDonald's prestigious All-American game with all the outstanding high school players. Danny Moskovitz came from Israel from the Army. Oh, she basketball. Deal. I was talking to Kareem today before the game about how when Shaquille plays against someone his size, we look at Dale Brown, who wants him to develop that hook shot. He shoots that ball right in their face. He's got to get a hook shot. Oh, uh, great timing. Arizona playing sloppy basketball right now. LSU really hustling and scrapping, using their quickness. See, right there, the good little hook shot down the lane really can help him. Singleton really giving him a spark. LSU hanging on by a three-point lead. O'Neal spoiled that. Cross-court pass. They got a man wide open. Griggs. He's a good jumper. He's their quickest player. He's an explosive player. He's missed the basketball in Louisiana two years ago. As the one, two, two, one press. Darren Johnson misses. Stokes misses. Look at it. Tip. on ABC Sports. Bo Jackson and the Raiders go to Michigan to take on the Detroit Lions. L.A. in a battle for the AFC West crown. Detroit struggling this season but that run and shoot, you never know. Halftime, ABC Sports will announce the members of the Silver Anniversary Super Bowl team. They're using that 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press key very effectively trapping and they have Shaquille as the deep guy at the Intimidator back there. And they got great quickness up front. He got the angle to the baseline. They had the angle for the entry to the baseline. They really got a drill on the effective lob to the baseline to O'Neal. Arizona nothing outside. Mills is really going to down Jones today. Up and down was brilliant in that NIT. He's really not been involved here this afternoon. See, he wants the lob to the baseline. That's a clean block, looked like by Mills. 
Looked like all ball from here. Let's see it. Shaquille is trying to direct the pass. He's trying to direct the pass to the base. Look, look, look. He's saying, make the pass to the corner. He wants to see. Now he wants the ball to the baseline. Flip it up. Oh. Looked like all ball, except he's an Can't All-American. When you're an All-American, you get away with those calls. I think it, it was scary last night watching him play against Chapman College in a minute he got. I can imagine. And it's a difference of night and day right now with Chapman in Arizona. So different, I really believe it's like Roseanne Barr singing a national anthem or Pavarotti singing a national anthem. That's how much difference you have between those two clubs. There goes Shaquille on a free throw line. Talk about my All-American team. I surround this guy with the two forwards. He converts that free throw from out of UNLV, Johnson and Augman, Kenny Anderson and Steve Smith in the backcourt. Oh, nice look. Griggs foul. Good look the opposite way. You enter the ball into the post. Make the backdoor cut. Looks with that good look. He knows he draws attention. See, right now, there's the backdoor cut. Riggs with his great quickness gets back. Takes away the layup. Makes him go to the free throw line. O'Neal's out. Here's Dale Brown. Dale's very emphatic about the fact that he believes Shaquille will definitely finish college. Hammond replaces him and gets another seven footer in on the board. Womack with that nice little touch. You know, there's a new rule now that the NCAA provides the finances for anybody who's defined as a first or second round pick in football and basketball, they can get insurance. He has insurance worth about $3 million on him, and then he pays back the NCAA without any interest when he becomes a pro. I think that's a great idea. Well, the only thing that I see in, in American sports today is how many times young people are exposed to pressures they're not ready to handle. And uh, that's probably one of the great reasons he should stay in school for a while. Well, Bill Walton stayed in school, and certainly Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yep. His dad is emphasizing getting education. His dad's in the military. They're killing time right here. Griggs works in there, finds some room, gives it to Hammett, and he scores it, but they wave it off and call it foul the other way. They get a charge on Griggs. Left his feet. Arizona, well coached by Lute Olsen, does an excellent job rotating over defensively. Here's Griggs. Now watch the rotation over defense. We're going to see the driving angle. He splits the seam. Oh, there's Brian Williams right there. Maybe a little acting? Griggs, three fouls. He's the only Tiger with any foul trouble at all. 35 seconds to go in the first half. There's the rules right there, the NCAA Disability Insurance Program. You project it as a first or second rounder. As a maximum for basketball, 2.7. I think that's a great, great rule. I'd like to see them also adopt the rule where the kids can get advice at their respective schools from maybe some local people in law to help them make some decisions rather than have all those sleazy characters out there trying to prey upon these youngsters. Help to alleviate some of that. You'll never eliminate it. Three-point lead for LSU. They want to hold it now and go to the clubhouse with at least that many. Go to a spread offense, trying to get into an isolation, a one-on-one -on -one maneuver. Take advantage of some quickness. Lanier Burns, 21 in the ball game right now for the Tigers, adding quickness. And he can shoot the ball. Burns has got a pretty good touch. He's a red shirt from last year. Sims almost loses. Five seconds, lets it go. Rebound is outside. Not the shot you really wanted. Poor and the half is over. Poor job of executing down the stretch. Half time, LSU 38, Arizona 35. shooting the ball really well. We look here, no place like home. LSU naturally loves the Maravich Center. Most clubs love their home court. Arizona. I mean, that's a natural in basketball. Well, they got 53, 54 in a row at home themselves. Yeah, down in the yeah. 
We look here at the stats. 0 for 6 from three-point range for Arizona. Their guards have to hit that perimeter shot. Muleback's a better, better, much better shooter than we've seen. We look at rebound and Arizona out rebounding them 25 to 18. They've turned the ball over 12 times. Shooting 39% for Arizona. Normally a better than 50% shooting team on the Lute Olsen. But they really know how to finish games. Arizona excels in the last 10 minutes of the game. Arizona has a score basket outside of 10 feet. Nothing from the guards. None of the guards have scored. I think the guards are so used to counting on the big people that maybe the concentration isn't there in shooting the ball because Othnick and Muehlbach are much better shooters than the numbers indicate. Othnick gets his first basket. Well, they cleared out. They ran a little clear out, one-on-one -on -one move, and I think that's a great call by Lute Olsen to put some confidence in the guards. It's the first basket by either Muehlbach or Offa. Greggs is short off the iron, and it's Arizona ball. The other thing in LSU's uh, corner, though, uh, Hanson, who is their best outside shooter, has done virtually nothing so far in the ball game either. Yeah, he hasn't really been able to get the good shot if you look at Dale. Dale really loves the big games, loves the role of David, does an amazing job there. You know, he's outlasted six football coaches. Brooks drives on O'Neal. See, taking the ball right at the big guy. He has to learn how to make the good block. He has to learn how to get the angle and not use his body in contact and not try to block every shot. Walmart with Cheryl. Cheryl Miller. Well, Keith and Dick, offensively, the coaches for Arizona felt that they were very tentative. They have, they were just a bit out of sync, but they must be more aggressive. Plus, defensively, they are. They need to play better transition defense. Let's we'll see if Arizona can get it together in the second half. That's pretty sloppy. About uh, halfway through. You know, Dale Brown. Two years ago, they played Georgetown. The Hoyas, 54,000 fans over at the Superdome as we watch the tip. And Dale pulled out a big win over the Hoyas and stopped the Hoyas from being number one in the nation that day when he beat them. He, he just loves these kind of games. And we've got Lute Olsen from Mayville, a little farm out in North Dakota. Played against Dale Brown, as we showed earlier, in high school in a state championship game. And Luke got the best of it. Game is all even at 38 now. Hanson holds it outside. You've got Singleton working inside with the big guy, O'Neal. Ball is knocked away from Singleton. Othick on a move, blindsided. Down he goes. Boudreaux all alone. There he is. Cecilia High School was a parade high school All-American. They're waiting for him to arrive. Mr. Boudreaux, it's in his third year now, was a red shirt his first year. Proposition 48. Hugh almost came up with another steal. He's been very active. William. They gotta, get, they gotta get the ball into Williams. He's so quick down in the box inside. Played at Maryland as a freshman. Was the premier freshman in the ACC and then became the traveling man. They're a different team without O'Neill on that floor. When he comes back, well, he, he's got that full stomach muscle, apparently, and uh, what Dale's trying to do is use him on offense and Boudreaux on defense. Kareem told me that he had conversations with him. I drove over here yesterday from the airport with Kareem. Said he spoke to him twice on the phone, and he had conversations with him. Look at him that ball down. Not, not a good arc right there on his shot, but he got away with it. And he said he advised him to stay in school, basically. Locks the shot, catches the ball, dribbles it up court. Feeds it to the corner, Hanson's open, back to O'Neal, double teamed, missed the shot. Rebound Singleton, he's blocked. And finally, the Wildcats get it. They wanted the call. Mills. Chris Mills, what a talent. What a talent. Neil yeah, Brown cannot believe no call. He said, this is our home. Even at 42 again. Chris Mills has got to be a little bit more consistent. Hanson can't buy one today. That's a foul. Probably Williams. And he's such a pure shooter as Williams gets called for the foul. Played for Bob Wade at Maryland. Played in three high schools. Little trying to be a politician. Next Saturday, ABC Sports, New York Life Champions. 30 top money winners on the senior PGA Tour for a piece of a million dollar pie. 
And at 4 Eastern, 3 Central and Pacific, ABC Sports, regional coverage, college basketball, Larry Johnson leading the UNLV running Rebels in the Michigan State against the Spartans. Or Kenny Anderson in Georgia Tech against Temple. Steve Smith's got to really come to play against UNLV. He's got to go Judd Heathcote, a great performance. They've been beaten by Nebraska and by Bowling Green, Michigan State. Nebraska's beaten a lot of people. Nebraska beat great the other day. Danny Nee's done a great job. They could contend in that big eight. I really believe that. Brooks, foul, can't get the shot. So Rooks really upset. He wanted that baby to go down. He's had a problem in the past in his career, Keith. You and I were talking about it when we saw him as a freshman with his stamina. He had a problem with stamina, stamina but they say that's really improved. A little asthmatic problem of a sort. They've sorted it out, apparently. Lute Olsen certainly right now has to be recognized as one of the premier coaches in the nation. Lute GQ, Mr. Olsen. I mean, you talk about a dapper dresser. He and his lovely wife, Barbara, celebrated their anniversary recently. I'm not going to say how many years. <laughs> He's so good looking. Look at that. Williams face. on the rebound. Can't get it. Ball skipped out by O'Neill. That's T.J. Pugh. Good pass. Chris Singleton. Count it. T.J. Pugh running the ball up the floor. Pugh, the junior college guard. They were in search of guard play. They lost Chris Jackson. Lost Maurice Williamson academically. Little Pusey style. The hook pass. Former Holy Cross All-American has the reverse layup. So once you go at that reverse situation, you use the basket as a protector. You use the net as a protector. Eubach got the foul. One-point lead for LSU. 44-43. Singleton makes it. No. He misses. Dale had all the adjectives ready to roll last night and today this morning in preparation he entertained us at breakfast today and he told me flat out i have that feeling dick my kids are going to be mentally emotionally and physically ready to play he played very well i'd like to play for him he put so much excitement look at the big wins he's had over the years in fairness to unlv they played without a fair player that game by the name of stacy orton Moses Curry, too. He, two, one press. He's got to shoot this Three baby. Three-pointer. Nope. Rebound. Comes to Pew. He's got the trailer. Flip it back to O'Neal. He, he said, no, Shaquille gets too much PR, baby. He said, this is mine. The three-point LSU lead. Oh, William. oh, what an explosive jam city. LSU by one. Time remaining in the game, 16-20. Arizona's got some stolen by Mulebach. Give it up. Get it back. <laughs> Missed the shot and the foul. Simplest play in basketball. The simple give and go. Yeah, I give it, I it. go without it. The little give and go stay a little bit. Stay a little bit wider than the lane. Smart play right now by Mulebach. See, they stay a little bit wider than the foul lane. The reason for that is so that one defensive player cannot play both guys. He got a little too far under. He's not really shooting well, Muleback Keith. He's yeah, seven, for, seven for 25 from three-point range of this year. Last year, he was a 43% shooter from three-point range. First point today. Last year, he was 66 for 152 in my research in three-point range, 43%, 7 for 25 this year. Arizona back to the lead by one, 47-46. I like Lute Olsen's approach, though. Let's play against the good people. Don't be afraid of traveling. Get a true evaluation. Mike Krzyzewski is the same way. Ricky Patino has got a month to remember with Kentucky. I think that's how you find out how good you are. This is uh, one of your better known snake pits, there's no question about it. You can test the character here. Three-pointer. Wide open. I mean, he is wide open. Yep. See, right now they need a big basket. Right now they should have a structured set play, and the ball's got to go to the big guy. they got to get the good angle. Stokes is checking him right now. And throw the ball up to him. He just shoved Stokes out of the way. He's unstoppable. If he can catch the ball in that area of the floor, and he has excellent hands. 
Ah, so look at Stokes now, trying to front him. He's trying to play three quarter, and they're going to get help from the weak side. Throw the ball over the top, and he's attacked by three people. Here comes a mugging. That's a bigger mugging than New York Times Square. Too strong. It takes a mugging to get him down. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with the right attitude. Look for the star, starter sportswear. the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail dinner and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is Patino and his Bombinos, Kentucky. Alabama, what's happened to Win Sanderson's team, Keith? They lose to Wichita State. Wichita State couldn't beat Dortmund. On the road again. Can you imagine interviewing Whip after that, baby? Won't go down. O'Neill tries. Won't go down. Do it again. Singleton got it. Singleton is so active. Did get away with it. interference. Singleton, I really like his activity. He is so active. Has a look at the slam cam. Watch the action inside. Ball rolling up on a rip. Ooh. Come on. Give me a break. Foul on TJ Pugh. TJ's got three now. Womack goes to the basket. Won't go down. Somebody reached up inside and knocked that one out of there. Out of the corner, Hanson. Won't go for him. Rebound, Rooks. Hanson's job is to shoot the perimeter jump, but he's trying to make the spectacular play. Mulebach. Forcing the play inside, gets the foul. The Tomorrow night, goal. Columbo's back on the case in an all-new mystery special, teaching, of course, on the perfect crime. When the classroom turns into the murder scene, Robert Culp guest with Peter Falk. Columbo goes to college tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central on ABC. Pugh now with four personal fouls. That's an area they have a problem. They're bringing in Danny Moskovitz. They found him in Israel through a former player, Willie Sims, who played here as an outstanding player as a sixth man, was playing in Israel. He called his coach up. He said, we got a kid here, Moskovitz, who can play. I love Dale's story about his SAT scores. That was a great story. He told him, son, you have to get 700 on the SATs to be eligible here. He said, that's no problem, coach. I just took the math section. He said, you got to take the verbal. He said, well, I got 780 in minutes, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> the free throws gives Arizona a one-point lead at 49-48, 14-40 to play in the ballgame. Wayne Sims. Sims with the force in the first half. That one won't go for it. O'Neill stays up there with it. 
Puts it back up again. Won't get it. <laughs> L.A. had four shots at it. Five shots. Six shots. Finally, Arizona gets it. That's amazing. Amazing. They're out clawing and out scratching and out hustling on the glass. The Arizona big people. Womack. No. Williams inside. He's fouled. I like Brian Williams' quickness to the basketball. He's much quicker this year going to the ball. He's a lateral rebounder, not a rebounder who just rebounds in the direction of the basketball. He'll go get it laterally. A third one third. There's Womack with a little wide open jump shot. Now here comes Williams from the weak side. So he's going to bring the ball back in. Shaquille says, oh, that's a tough call on Shaquille. That is a tough call on Shaq. There have been more obvious ones, haven't there? 49-48 Arizona at 14.09. There was magic in that ballpark. We both felt it. Dad handed me his Minolta Max in 5009. Clark digs in. Bulldog into his windup. No snapshot camera is this special because Maxim has it all. Telephoto zoom for detail. Ultra fast auto focus. Lucky shot, rookie. Even built in flash. Wow. Experience the magic of Maxim. Only from the mind of Minolta. Make it, baby. Hey, who's this? Seasoned eatings from Kentucky Fried Chicken. bucket of chicken, a party-sized bucket of hot wings, or a holiday meal, each for just $9.99. So, really, what do we owe you? Hi, Chuck. Hi. You know, Ace is a place for all kinds of holiday stuff, stuff? from the tree and all the trimmings well, we to have the right stuff to put under it. Oh, you mean Hey, to... let me tell you, when it's time for ho, 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 Ace is a place for me. <laughs> ho, ho, ho? Yeah, ho, ho, ho. You know. <laughs> Take a guess. How can Americans save 4.2 million gallons of gasoline a day? Slow down. And save money, too. Let's put our energy into saving it. Keith, we so often hear about points of emphasis, the principle of verticality. Shaquille O'Neal is entitled to that defensive position. And if the offensive player, there's the principle of verticality, makes contact with the defensive player, the foul is on the offensive player. As far as I'm concerned, that should have been a no call. There was no foul on Williams. There should have been no foul on Shaquille O'Neal. O'Neal stays in the game with three fouls. I think Dale Brown right now a little concerned that Arizona might be pumped up and ready to make a run for the first time in the ball game, really. They've been an outstanding stretch team. They had a great spurt against Arkansas when Arkansas yeah. had a technical foul called on Oliver Miller. They were up in command, and then all of a sudden Arizona was a different basketball team. That's Boudreaux handling the ball against Williams. Sims comes out to get it. Hanson finds a lane. To the corner it goes for Boudreaux. I like Boudreaux. I think Boudreaux can be a key player for LSU during the course of the season. Got an injury here on Williams. Looks like his ankle. He's found some stability now. It's the first time he's been in a program for an extended period of time. Three years. Penetration by Hanson. He drives. He draws. Now he's going to dish the rock to the corner. Here comes Boudreaux. Squares his body, 6-9, good rotation, good foul, follow through. Womack in, Stokes in, Rook stays in for Arizona. Hoffick handling the ball out in front. He also does an, excellent, does an excellent job of rotating his big people. And the great thing about that, you always have competition, which makes people better. Folks, they get that foul. Fouls Moskovitz. And for Stokes, his first. That's a football game, baby. Army leading. Look at this one. Georgia Southern wins again. How about that? Without Without her. <clears throat> Rebound cleared out by Muehlbach. LSU with 16 fouls. Arizona with four. Rebound outside Hanson. Guards have not produced today for the Wildcats. 
offensively. Sloppy play right here. Sloppy three on two. Hit the wing. Uh, use the bounce pass. They got O'Neal. They got O'Neal. Flip it up to Shaquille. Boudreaux got it. Hey, Boudreaux's got the hot hand. LSU's back on top by one. Dale Brown at his best. Emotion. Loves the role of David. Playing against Goliath. Burns, Lanier Burns, 21, coming into the ball game, replacing Hanson at a guard position for LSU. I think that's a great move by D.L. Brown. He's struggling shooting the ball. Could be a little fatigued from playing last night. 17 hours ago, they played here a basketball game. Womack takes it in. Poor job of rotating defensively. No one rotated over for LSU to close the driving line. Womack has 10 points now. He'll try to be a good friend to his buddy. Bob Boyd played him last night. He's got to get a better arc on that shot. In the melee underneath, they're able to deflect the ball off of the Wildcat. And the Tigers will play it. He let him get in the paint. <laughs> he let him get that in the end of the paint. Forget it. That's a 3S man right there. Super scintillating and sensational. Mr. O'Neal. One point lead for LSU. Brooks has the ball stripped away by O'Neal. Remember, O'Neal's got three. Three personal fouls. Screen and roll. They got Rooks. They had Rooks wide open. Dump it in the Rooks. Womack loses the ball. And they whistle a foul on nothing. Well, Dale Brown's got him playing now, just like he wants him to play. Well, he's in the position he wanted to be. Up yep. one, coming to the last 11 minutes. Now he hopes the emotion, the crowd, the jubilation can carry them in a death goal. Chris Mills comes back in, Womack leaves, Williams comes back, and Stokes leaves. Arthur Gazzard and Reeves is in for Arizona. O'Neal works his way toward the baseline. This time they cut him off. He's so strong in that lane. Rebound, Rooks. Tipped out by Muscovitz. Arizona really trying to force the action in transition. never gets rattled. I'll tell you, Ludos, you talk about Mr. Poise. What a leader. If you're a papa out there, you'd like your son to play for this guy. Shot. Brooks inside. He gets the foul on O'Neal. That's four. A little pump fake did it. We talked about that on the top of the show as being a big story. Can't shoot Neil O'Neill, stay out of foul trouble. He's had a history of getting in foul trouble. There's the good entry. See, that's the good angle, the good entry. Now look, see, he leaves his feet on the head fake. Positioning, he has to learn how to play positioning. The toughest adjustment for kids coming into high school, to me, are big people learning how to play the proper defense inside. Position defense. Brooks can't get it. Singleton's going to come back now. And O'Neal's going to go out for LSU. Bill Walton came in to work with him in those areas. He's going to have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar work with him after the game tonight on a hook shot. Hey, Kareem, to me, is the greatest center in the history of college basketball. You can talk about Russell and his defensive game and Bill Walton, but pure, consummate post-play, Kareem, to me, was the best. 11.26 to play in the ball game. LSU 54, Arizona 53. Arizona with no scoring today from outside. None of its guards have done anything. Rooks turns. Oh, that's interference. That only happens internationally. You can get away with that. Not a good play. Look at him. He's coming over to us. He's pointing to us like we can help him out. I can't help you, Brian. Can't help you. He wants us to look at the monitor. Look at Brian. He's going to help us out. I don't know. That ball could have been off. It bounced out, but they didn't call the other one. They might call that one. Singleton. 
They're in that matchup zone. Moscovitz takes it into the middle and loses control, but Arizona still having trouble finding a handle and finally get it with Mulebach. Chris Mills for three, no. Williams inside, clears it back. Rooks. That was an excellent two-man play. People really would put enough emphasis on a great pass by Reeves. The excellent bounce pass into the big fellow Rooks down inside. Dawn has 12. Singleton lets it go from the foul line. Good. Arizona still trailing by one, and the ball now at 10 and a half minutes to play in the game. Singleton hits that big perimeter shot. He played center as a freshman with Chris Jackson. Williams on a lob. Simple little screen and roll. Put the ball up to Williams. He has the explosive step to the goal. See, right now they got to use the clock a little bit. They're playing without O'Neal. Uh, not a good play. Not a good play, Keith. No iron on that one. Shot the ball too quickly. Bounce pass ahead to Rook. I'd get a Count timeout. Foul. I'd get a timeout. Oh. Dale's really being put into a tough position right now to make that decision when to bring Shaquille in with his fourth foul. Nice pass by Muehlbach. Solid bounce pass. Look at Rooks running the court at 6'11". Solid offensive player who has to learn how to be a little bit more aggressively in terms of rebound. No foul. Substitution Hanson back for LSU. Hamming is in for LSU. He's the seven-foot back and he just got a basket. I like his little touch. I watched him last night against Little Chapman College, but at least he had that nice little spin jumper in the lane. I think he could give Gale a few quality minutes. Bad pass by Rooks. Picked up by Sean Griggs. Long court. Pass it back across the court. You can lose it. They go inside to the Dutchman again, and he misses. And he gets it. I That's think they get big points. I think they can get some QT quality time out of that big guy, Hammond. Four big points right there. Keeps LSU in front. Oh, that's a block. Oh, that's a poor call. That's a block on Hammond. There's no doubt about it. That was a block on the LSU big kid. You make the call out there, fans. I got one eye, so I don't see that well. But you tell me he's not blocking him right here. You don't tell me he didn't bump him. Yeah, it's been very inconsistent officiating, I think. Singleton puts it in there. Singleton with an explosive first step for the goal. The elevator man, the high riser. They lead by three without O'Neal. They have the ball. He can shoot it. He can shoot it. Whistle stops it on the baseline. It'll go against Singleton. See, right now, Lute is waiting for the TV timeout. Remember, in a TV game, you only have three timeouts. Hammond wants the ball. Look at him. He's a good head fake once, twice. He gets Williams up, stays with it, comes three more times. He's going to earn himself some playing time. Great coaching move by Gail Brown to take Hanson out to rest him a little bit. Because as a good shooter, you shoot with your legs as well as your arms. And I thought he was fatigued. I thought it was a great move by Dale Brown. You've got eight minutes and 33 seconds to play in the game. And a five-point LSU lead after that little burst. If I were Dale, I'd try to hang on to the five-minute mark until I get Shaquille on the floor. The winning time in the last five minutes. They should try to use some clock with each possession in their half-court game. Briggs forces the shot. And they're going to give the ball to LSU. That's a break right there, but let me oh. tell you something. Lou can't be happy with that, but Dale Brown can't be happy with that shot selection in that possession. Right now, they got to use some of the 45-second clock. Buy some time with the lead and your big star on the sideline. Here's your big Dutchman. Won't get it this time. And finally, Arizona handles the ball cleanly. There's been an LSU hand in their face, clawing and scratching this entire ball game. I tell you, these LSU kids came out playing hard here today. That's a bad pass. 
Brian Arizona. Williams. Arizona. Blind 758 blind. to play in the ball game. Back after this message and a word from our ABC station. Fortunately, my heart attack wasn't the end of the world. It was kind of a beginning. To help prevent another attack, my doctor prescribed exercise, eating right, and Therapy Bear, pure bear aspirin that's safety coated to help prevent stomach upset. I asked my doctor if this regimen with Therapy Bear would really make a difference down the road. That's why I'm doing it myself, he said. More and more doctors are discovering Therapy Bear. Take it from your doctor. America's watching ABC. Personal injury attorney Michael Hingle on fair compensation for accident victims. I'm attorney Michael Hingle. My years of experience have taught me fair compensation is no accident. For an accident victim to receive fair compensation, it takes hard work, patience, and time. If you want an attorney who fights for fair compensation, call me, Michael Hingle. We have offices in New Orleans, Hammond, and Slidell. If you've been injured, call me, attorney Michael Hingle. Call 1-800-USA-JURY now. Sometimes it happens. So if your GM car should need repair, know where to take it to get it fixed right. Take it to a Metro GM dealer service and parts association member. They have the best. Certified GM technicians that use genuine GM parts. There's one nearby, like Sewell Cadillac Chevrolet, or Mossy Motors downtown. And in Homa, there's Trap Chevrolet. Remember, it's not just a car, it's your freedom. So in case it happens, use the best. Mr. Goodwrench and genuine GM parts. The Jim Mora Show, only on Channel 8. Four-point lead, LSU. Time remaining on the right-hand side there. Situation is this. Fouls, you see, the Tigers have eight. The Wildcats only five. Arizona, three timeouts remaining. Tomorrow, a special edition of ABC's Wide World of Sports. The most grueling of all, the Bud Light Ironman Triathlon World Championship. The world top male gymnast for the all-around gold at the World Cup. Coverage, 4 Eastern, 3 Central, and Pacific ABC's Wide World of Sports. Seventh foul, you go into the bonus. The tenth, you get the extra bonus. Two shots after the tenth on a free throw line. Singleton lets it go. Air ball. Rebound. Knocked away. Othick has that ball tipped away by uh, Griggs. You got to bring the ball out, set up for the good shot, be patient. Griggs lets it get away. Williams has it. Pass ahead, look out for Mills. The uh, Wildcats having trouble with that LSU pursuing defense all day long. Trapping Williams inside, forces the shot and doesn't get it. Had the poor angle on that shot. Singleton, nope. Rebound Mills. See, I think their game plan now without O'Neal their game plan as we watch Rooks taking it up to the goal. That's a bad shot. He should have gone around the man and gone to the baseline. He's really sloppy play by LSU now with the basketball. Arizona as well. As I said a little bit earlier, Keith, at the eight-minute mark, I think if you're Dale Brown, you want to try to get Shaquille at the five-minute mark. At the five-minute mark, the winning time, bring him in. You got the four-point lead, 6.44. Dale comes in now. I would wait an extra minute and 44, but Dale's had so much success. He knows his people better than I do. 6.44 to play in the game. Four-point lead, and Mills will go to the foul line. See, I thought the game plan sitting on that sideline of Dale Brown, if you look at Chris Mills, if we have the transition and the three-on-two, we shoot the ball. We got elbowed in him out on a stitch. But if you don't have the three-on-two and you're five-on-five, I think you got to use the clock. When O'Neal went out at 11.26 to play in the second half, LSU led by one, 54-53. He comes back at 6.44, and they lead 65-63 uh, as Mill makes the second free throw. LSU lost a real tough game to a good villain over team in the Hall of Fame Classic down the stretch. See, right now, I think every possession, you've got to really think of option number one and try to create some angles and get the ball up to O'Neal. You've well, got clock. Stokes inside on O'Neal right now. 
Won't go. The rebound taken by Muehlbach. The little guy inside. Chris Mills handling in the corner. At the three, short off the front iron, and the rebound. Look. Looks with that good hustle, shows some aggressive play, going for the rebound. Again, Another one. Basket by Rooks. That's been one of the negatives if you critique Sean Rooks that he wasn't an aggressive rebounder. Good job by Rooks. We're tied. Pass to O'Neill. Foul call. Look at him. He says that's unstoppable. Just throw it up to me. Just throw me to rock up in the air. Just flip it up. I'll finish it off. I'll finalize it. There's the spin move. A little spin move to the goal. Single reverse. And there it is. There's a second look. See the single reverse? They flip it off. Great hands for the catch. And you can grab the rim to protect yourself in a scoring maneuver. Ryan Williams coming back now. And Sean Rooks will get a breather. At 5.54 to play in the game. Rooks getting that little rest, as we talked about earlier, that asthma problem. Is Stamina was a problem early in his career. He's really worked on it. Really a play play to give the lead back to LSU by three. See right now. Stokes staying in for that seven feet of height. Mills on a drive, fine play. Great play by Mills, showing his versatility. You know, Shaquille has seven consecutive double doubles, baby. 26 times. So far, that's Griggs on a drive, and he's fouled by Williams. Williams is crying too much. He's, he, he's got to just play basketball. He's such an emotionally young man and really has improved. He has improved tremendously. Two guys that were transfers talking to each other, Mr. Mills and Mr. Williams. Third personal foul on blind. You know, expectations mean so much. Last year, LSU had so much in the way of expectations, and it added to so many problems. They were 23 and 9. This year, they're not expected to be the leader of the big the SEC, and they could really create some problems for people. Georgia's got an outstanding team. Three point lead for LSU. Over the number two team in the country in the recent polls. Pass a little high and lost the biopic. They tried to run a little back screen. As Reed Olsen looking over numbers, very calm, and I believe that reflects your ball club. Boys down the stretch. They haven't handled the ball well all day, though. They have one played. of the reasons has been that clawing and scratching the LSU people. That's an amazing move, Keith. That is Akeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, Patrick Ewing. He's heading into the big leagues, but his career is over here, and he'll be one of the greats in the NBA. Stokes enters. And it's back to three. I really believe, Keith, barring any kind of injury, we are watching the making out here of the next superstar that will arrive in the NBA. I mean, that is frightening. That is frightening. That is frightening, that is frightening my friend. That is awesome, baby. That is awesome. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. And the Williams inside. Nice look to Brian Williams. Oh, sloppy play on the inbounds of the basketball. They got to bring it out and look for the high percentage shot now. Float up the Stokes. He was wide open. Bad pass again. Poor ball handling by Arizona. Inside O'Neill. That's what he's working on. A little jump hook. Yeah, he's got a class set for him tonight with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just on that shot. Chris Mills trying to go behind the back and the ball comes out and rolls loose and it'll belong to Arizona at 3.45 to play in the ball game. LSU leading by three points. Watch this. He's 18 years old, people. He's 18. When you're out street hiking, you better know how to read the terrain. First, trust your instincts. By all means, avoid distractions. Do your 
best to preserve the wildlife. Because street hikers don't just walk, they hike. Fresh shoes, Joe. The U.S. used a satellite to study Venus. The Soviets used a satellite to study Mars. Now, Lexus is using a satellite to pinpoint Tim Murphy's last oil change. At Lexus, we're linked to a satellite system that can instantly transmit your maintenance history to any dealer in the country. You see, we don't just promise you the sky. We deliver it. Come on along, I'll take you to the lullaby of Broadway. The Hickory and Valley Who. The lullaby of Broadway. And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. Stay at the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail, dinner, and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby. Defending national champ UNLV battles the Michigan State Spartans or Jenny Anderson and Georgia Tech take on the Temple Owls. It's ABC's College Basketball next Saturday. Break your arm, you got caught in that one, wouldn't you? The game has been tied eight times, 17 lead changes. Arizona, 25 turnovers, LSU, 16. They got to try to get O'Neal out of the game and jam the ball right at him immediately. But a good last two minutes with him on a sideline. Inside, Muehlbach. Good move by Muehlbach. He knows O'Neal's not going to really try to make the defensive effort. Good movement without the basketball. One point the game water. now, 74-73 LSU. He used the clock, tried to get the good entry inside, but they had him on a reverse of the ball. Rainbow by Hanson for three. He has now got his stroke. He has his legs. His legs are into his shot. Stokes, foul. By Singleton. Not a bad foul by Singleton because Stokes had the great angle for the jam. Now he's going to make him go to the free throw line. Time remaining, 3.05 in the game. See, O'Neal's going to try to deny right here. Remember, he's got four fouls. He's got a four fouls. He's got to play heady. Here comes the rotation to help and the reach it by Singleton. Shaquille O'Neal, too, is better, as I told you off the air, than I ever dreamt. He's better than I even anticipated coming here. Uh, Roberts left now. Stanley Roberts left and went off to Europe someplace. Uh, did O'Neal not profit by the fact that the other seven-footer is gone? Well, he's over in Real Madrid. I think he's really profiting from the fact that they're looking to him a little bit more this year because Chris Jackson was such an outstanding one-on-one -on -one player. Can't stop him in there. See, he knows that he is the man. He is option number one. Yeah, but Stokes is squawking, and Stokes has a very good reason to squawk here because the guy pushed him off and then took the pass. They're letting them play. I'll say that. The one thing is, these officials are allowing them to play here. There's the flip over on top. Now he holds it. He hesitates. Oh, he gets bucked from behind. Yeah, he's fouled. There's no question about it. But the point is, he pushed off before the pass came in. And that's been happening a lot. Are you trying to say they're protecting the I am guy? saying that very plainly. Yes. <laughs> At least I get the feelings and you're watching it. I have no reason to say anything other than what I see. Brooks inside takes it down on the floor and that may very well have cost him because LSU will come out of there with the ball. See, he wants the ball now with each possession. That's a sign of McClure as a player. He wants the ball. He wants the ball. That's a great play. And he knows what to do with the ball. I'm jumping out of my seat, Mr. Jackson. Seven-point LSU lead. You don't see this in football. Mills with three. That's why he's a special player. Special players the make first the first one play. today they've made. Yep, but special players make the big play down the stretch. See, right now, they trying to beg a call. Can't get it there. Singleton inside. Give it to O'Neal, and he is fouled by Rooks. Or Mills. Take your pick. 
I think Shaquille O'Neal has sent the message across America on national TV today that I am flat out the best big player in the United States. I mean, if there's anybody going to argue after this performance today, and he sat out so many minutes because of foul trouble, injuries. John Flockerty right here, referee, and he was the ref in that controversial ball in the national championship game with Seton Hall and Michigan. He called the foul to put Ramil Robinson on the line. I think John's one of the premier officials in the game. Five-point LSU lead. The ten-point win for the Cadets of Army in their annual football game. 82-77, LSU, a minute 55 to play in the game. And those numbers don't tell the entire story. O'Neal has taken over the ball game with four fouls. Inside, Rooks. Slapped out. No chance. LSU has it. They got numbers. They got numbers. Flip it up. Art. Smart play. Hanson goes in, ball deflected, slapped around, Wildcats get it, and a foul. Foul is on Griggs. Dale Brown said earlier today, told us five minutes before the tip-off, I have that feeling, Dick, I have that feeling, and I'm telling you something, the team they're playing against... He's a master with the microphone, isn't he, Mr. Jackson? Well, if, you know, they start throwing things out there, and right. innocent people are going to get hurt. He runs this place. Don't ever doubt it. Well, what about jumping in at the press conference in football with Mike Archer? Yep. As a T.O. right now by Mr. Brown. He jumped in at the press conference and went after the media, said, you guys are the reason that this guy is resigning right now. The important thing at this particular point in time is you, if you've been watching the game, you now know why they call them the Fighting Tigers. And with a 125 remaining on the clock, LSU is leading by six, 83-77. I don't feel it's over yet. You remember with a minute and 25 and a three-point shot, you're looking at two possessions. Also right now, Arizona certainly being tested. Arizona, without a doubt, is one of the premier teams in the United States, regardless of what happens here. This has been a history of LSU. Emotionally charged for the big game. He passed us out a sheet today that documented all his big wins at LSU well, in an emotional game when he was in the role of David. We saw them beat Nevada Las Vegas last year, right here by two. I think two years ago was a big, big one when he beat Georgetown. Yep, they did have the kind of personnel. Next Saturday, ABC Sports offers the New York Life Champions, top 30 money winners, senior PGA Tour, land for a million bucks. Then at 4 Eastern, 3 Central and Pacific, ABC Sports offers regional basketball, UNLV running Rebels at Michigan State against the Spartans, or Kenny Anderson and Georgia Tech against the Temple Owl. I think Michigan State's only going to bounce back. They're too talented, lost early, but Steve Smith's such a great player. Hey, let's not send any crying towels for Mr. Dale Brown, because let me tell you, he's got some players. When you could start with this guy in the middle, see, Keith, I've always been a believer that offensive and defensive basketball efficiency starts in the lane. This man has been a devastating, dominating force in the lane. This is what's impressive to me now. He scored 13 points since he got his fourth foul. He came in and really wanted the ball. So he totals 26 points, 12 rebounds, and five block shots. But 13 of those points since he got his fourth foul. LSU better not be celebrating right now because Arizona has been tough, making it tough on the entry of the pass if he converts these two free throws. Well, the burden's going to be on Singleton, Henson, and Pugh. They're going to get a lot of pressure right now. And LSU has to be intelligent. If they don't have the open layup in the numbers, ball's on the floor. Arizona's got it. And they roll it out of bounds. The LSU's got to play intelligent right here. If they don't have the numbers, they have to use some of that shot clock. It'll be Wildcat ball. No, it won't either. It'll be LSU ball because Arizona rolled it out. That's what I thought. 
and Arizona's going to face guard to guard, and they're going to put the big guy on the baseline to bother the entry. See, Shaquille's got to post up to the open area. Well, luckily, it comes back to T.J. Pugh. Henson fires it up, doesn't get it. Ball flying around and a whistle, and it'll go to Arizona. See, even though he's wide open, that's not a good shot by Hanson. Even though he's a good shooter, right now the clock is what you got to utilize. 110 to play in the game. Inside Rooks, he pushed off and got away with it. Gets the basket. There goes the timeout. You see, right now, both coaches show their coaching ability in a strategic situation. Good ball by Ludosa. Score, get the timeout. Not a good decision by Mike Hanson. 83-80 at the time, 104. The finish could be spectacular. Tuesday, ride him, Tony. Up he goes, Sam. Don't they have step ladders in the wedge? <laughs> Sam's marrying a cowboy. Ma'am? And Tony's having a cow. Who's the boss? <gasps> Wait a minute. And an all-new head of the class. Then one more will make four. I'll be happy if you have a baby. Oh, that's so sweet. Finally, I get a chance to kick some butt. Then, this is the same chair the Amanda Christine and I met four years ago. She did it to him then. <sighs> will they do it again? It's an all-new coach, Tuesday. Sunday, two families living under one roof. The girls want different sleeping arrangements. And now the battle lines are being drawn. <laughs> Far be it from me to deny you your juvenile pleasure. Everybody happy? No. Life goes on. Then tis the season to be silly. Dad, I am mad. How often you fall apart with more of America's Funniest Home Videos? Then. Mom, can I borrow the iron? America's Funniest People Sunday. Interesting that Dale Brown dealt more with the human factor. No X's and O's. He talked of his people as people. Are we going to win it? Do we want it? How much do we want it? Listen. He's pretty good with the people factor. He's a master motivator. When you talk about the great motivators in college basketball, he's certainly one of them. Arizona trying to trap backcourt. See Shaquille's, they get away. Foul is called on the LSU man. Shaquille reaching, grabbed an ankle. Shaquille was wide open. Arizona had five guys up court, wide open. Nobody looks up court. I mean, he had an unmolested jam. All alone. See, right now, in the last minute and 25, when they were up six, I pointed out to you, Keith, that this game's not over because of the scrappiness and the intelligence of this Arizona team. They know how to play the game at the end of a game. I think makes the first one. He does get two. They're over the 10 foul limit. See, that shot by Hanson could really hurt Michael. Uh, a one-point ball game. Who sat out last year, a good shooter, but that's not what Dale Brown wanted. He wanted him to kill some time. In the Greg. Spread the court. Singleton against Williams. Foul, Opic. He's a 70% free throw shooter. Singleton has an excellent touch. He will get two. I'll tell you, I've been so impressed with the performance, though, by the LSU kids. Because when I looked at Arizona earlier this year, I'll be very honest with you, Keith, I didn't think there was any chance whatsoever, as good as LSU is at home, for them to be able to hang with Arizona. Because I thought, I thought for sure they would get O'Neal out of the game. But the LSU kids are hung tough. Big free throw by Singleton with 48 seconds to go in the game and a two-point lead, LSU. I mean, he was telling number us, two against number 18. He was telling us this morning at breakfast, he thought that Arizona is one of the best teams in the last decade. That's what Dale Brown said. He was setting us up. I said, though, not the last decade, certainly this year. 40 seconds to go. Rook summons the ball. O'Neal picks it up. Now they're gonna throws it away. Bring the ball out. Bring the ball out. There was a foul in the corner on Hanson. They mugged Hanson. Almost threw it away. But with 32 seconds and the foul in the corner, 
That may be enough at 85, 82. Dale says, I love you, Mike. I love you. Maybe he's speaking in Spanish. His mom and dad are in Madrid. He has dual citizenship. But I'll tell you better than that. You know what he has? As O'Neill now, he's going to come up with the ball. Look at O'Neill. He's made every big play. And there's the Wes Unsel style flip out. A oh, great athletic ability to save that ball into Hanson. What a play athletically. This is automatic. Put it down, Keith. He's a great shooter. He's a great shooter. He's automatic. It's in the bank. He hasn't missed a free throw yet this year. Am I jinxing him? He hasn't Probably. missed a free throw show yet this year. <laughs> this is automatic. Look at those eyes. They tell a story. The great concentration. Now that you go in his zone. Just go in his zone. Pressure the ball on the perimeter. Take away the three. It's over. Shot to the rock. And here's another big W for Dale Brown. A master. Say what you want about X's and O's. The name of the game is to communicate, to motivate, and to inspire. And Dale Brown inspires. Look at shot. He says, I got four, but it doesn't matter. He says, Rooks, get it out of here. And you get it out of here, too, Mills. Who else wants to try me? You got no shot with me. I'm the best in America. He's, a, he's so good, Keith. He's so good. You're laughing. You want to say it. I know you do. <laughs> well, I have a question. Is that ability. The only thing I worry about is whether or not at 18 years of age, he's ready for all of this. Well, that's the price. That's right. He better get ready because it's real. It's real, and he has to deal with it. That's part of maturing as an individual in life. I mean, you can't hide the facts when you're that talented. America can see it. I have one eye, and I can see it. <laughs> 21 seconds and a five-point lead, and he has taken absolute control of the game in the last 10 minutes. Those are unbelievable numbers, and he's missed a lot of time. This is a big free throw right here. Well, that's a big free throw. Yeah. See, right now, two possessions. They can tie this game with a two Hoffick here. puts it up. Won't go. The rebound knocked out by Rooks, and that should do it. Arizona, I think Lute Olsen will be a little bit disappointed with the way they executed down the stretch. But knowing the class guy Lute is, he'll sing the praises of Mr. O'Neal. Mills had his hand on it. Q comes up with it. There it is. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Look at the dancer. Kissing the crowd. 